What's up everyone, Chris here with Activan Conversions. Behind me is our latest conversion. We actually did a 2012 Sprinter 170 two-wheel drive. This van got completely repainted. We gutted the interior into our Aspen 170 floor plan. Let's show you around. And welcome inside. So this is our Aspen 174 plan with the third seat option. Aspen 170 has the 30 inch indoor shower here, a 75 inch bed platform back there, and a 60 inch kitchen lower cabinet right here. Fridge freezer located under the bench seat. Got the lagoon table mount here. Uh, and this customer opted for uh, the additional captain's chair. This is on a swivel mount. Difference between the Aspen 170 and the popular Newport 170 is the shower size and the bed size. So in the Newport 170, we have a 36 inch shower. So it comes out to about here. And the bed platform comes out an additional five inches to 80 inches for a, a full queen. Um, so therefore it kind of shrinks your, your kitchen cabinet space. To each his own, that's why we have two options. For air circulation, we got the uh, Max Air Fan right here. And air conditioning unit, the Velet 12 volt air conditioning unit. Up top, we got our microwave, household microwave and plenty of overhead storage. You can see that um, control panel there. And the kitchen. So again, huge backsplash here. Love the gray tile. We did the uh, stainless faucet and stainless sink. Here's the indoor shower, uh, 30 inch shower pan. Uh, we lined it in the gray tile with white grout. Again, you do have a number of uh, tile options here that you can choose from. The teak floor comes standard in all of our builds. So I'm six one, and I fit in here totally fine. It's like, really it's to each his own how big of a shower you want. For me personally, I think that the smaller the shower, the better, so that you can have you know more space in your van. Also in these showers, we install a, uh, a curtain rod here that you can hang stuff, say if you want to dry like your wetsuit or snowboard boots or whatever uh, in here, you can do that. This customer chose a uh, nice color palette in this van. A lot of whites, a lot of grays. Uh, we do have flexibility in our uh, shower paint colors. You can do white, black, sandstone. Um, we have basically endless tile options. This butcher block is stained in a weathered gray that uh, also matches the, the ceiling stain, which is a weathered gray as well. And then we did our weathered gray flooring. Um, really in all of our vans, you have flexibility on uh, what you want to, what you want to choose as far as colors, finishes, etc. All right, so back here in the garage, we have the Radio Vans full extension 60 inch slide out tray. Um, this is a little bit different. We did a modification on this garage. Uh, typically with our fixed beds, you know, you're not having space uh, right here, but um, sorry about the traffic noise. We are at a working shop. <laughs> um, anyway, so this this bed up here is a removable bed. So this is the FBC three panel bed. Uh, these metal panels can be fully removed and you'll have a, a complete floor to ceiling height aisleway here to store whatever you want. The, this specific customer is a big mountain biker and uh, this we tailored the height specifically to uh, their fork to top of their handlebar height so that he can clear his large mountain bikes in here and uh, have exactly what he wants. And here's a back view. So again, got that full extension slide out tray. Got water on this side. So this van's equipped with 42 gallons of fresh water and uh, electrical on this side. So we got, um, our standard is 300 amp hours of lithium batteries, but we can go all the way up to 990 amp hours if, uh, if you want to. Thank you all so much for watching. We are Active Van Conversions out of Reno, Nevada. This is our Aspen 170 floor plan. Check us out online, www.activevanconversions.com and social handle at the.active. No E at the end of active. We'll see you on the next one.